Welcome to the Coding Interview Must Know series. Today, we're tackling a classic problem, merge sorted array. Here's the problem. You're given two sorted arrays in non-decreasing order. The first array has a total length of m plus n. The first m elements are valid, and the remaining n spots are empty, usually filled with zeros. The second array has n elements. Your task is to merge the second array into the first one while keeping everything sorted. And here's the catch. You have to do it in place, without using any extra space. For example, the first array is 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0, where m is 3 and n is 3. The second array is 2, 5, 6, also length 3. After merging, the first array becomes 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, 6. At first glance, you might think, why not merge from the start? Sure, if you could use extra space, that works fine. But the problem requires in-place merging. Going from the start would overwrite elements in the first array that haven't been processed yet. So what's the trick? Since the first array has n extra spaces at the end, we can merge from the back to the front. Here's how it works. We use two pointers. P1 points to the last valid element in the first array. P2 points to the last element in the second array. We also use a right pointer, starting at the very end of the first array. Each time, we compare the numbers at P1 and P2, place the larger one at right position, and move the corresponding pointers backward. Repeat this until all elements from the second array are merged. Let's walk through our example. P1 points at 3, P2 at 6, right position at the end. Compare 3 and 6, 6 goes in. Next, 3 and 5, 5 goes in. Then 3 and 2, 3 goes in. Finally, place the remaining 2. Done. The merged array is 1, 2, 2, 3, 5, 6. The code is simple. We start from the end using three pointers, P1 for the last valid element of the first array, P2 for the last element of the second array, and right position for the very end of the first array. The core loop logic is straightforward. While the second pointer, P2, still has elements, compare the values at both pointers. Place the larger one at the right position, then move the pointer you used, and the right position, backward. The key point is that we only need to check if P2 has finished. Once the second array is fully merged, the remaining elements in the first array are already in the correct place. This approach achieves in-place merging with a time complexity of OM plus N and space complexity of O1, making it both clean and efficient.